Morning, welcome to Earth Assets. We are chopping on the bandsaw this morning. This is the first cut on this piece of wood. As you can see, we've got a nice big split through it, um, which is going to run all the way up there. It's a bit of dead old poplar. Um, the pattern's really, really nice, but we're not using it for anything specific. So we're going to uh, fix a bit of the plinth in the kitchen with it and just stop little creatures from entering it. We're having a bit of an issue. Anyway, rubbish on file. Not so rubbish. It's actually quite a nice piece of wood. So we can use that for something that's a, around about an inch thick or a board inch thick, so it's going to plane up smaller. We don't have a plane, so that's just going to go into storage for now on the pile. Next piece is going to be half inch thick for what we need to do in the kitchen. Thickness of board that we need to do the plinth. And we're going to cut it on the top and the bottom in a minute when we line it up. We're going to cut another one so we've got some sideways strength on the mill and then we'll attach it. Same again. I've got a little bit of lateral strength in it, half inch is a little bit flimsy for the mill. It does like to jerk around a bit to try and catch the blade, especially when you've got an old blade like this one. So we're going to line them up together, same orientation, same way it came off the log, and then cut it down two straight edges. And there we have it, there's our two bits, these are 85 inches long, really annoyingly, and the, uh, the plinth that we need to make is 88 inches long give or take an inch and a half so it's close but um, what we'll do is we'll cut two long halves out of these boards so at least they'll match and then uh, attach them underneath and that'll stop the pesky rodents from living in there it's all good there goes this is Hunley he has three feet and four legs he's not quite as fast as he should be but he tries his best come on fella Piece of wood. I've got to put 
three sets of two holes in it to attach it to the underside of here, like that, uh, which I'm going to do now. Two pieces by the way we're going to put in here. I've done my best as I can trying to flatten out the staples in there but this is only temporary so I'm not really all that fussed about this because we're going to rebuild the cabinets at some point and that will be on the channel. This is literally just a stop gap and stop that pesky rat situation. bit for the screws and this is my countersink bit. Now I'm going to mark roughly where I want the screws. Again this is only a quick fix. I'm really not fussed about correct holes or anything else. This is literally just a pest barrier. And when we get the new cupboards done they're not going to have an underneath so we won't be bothered about that. What that does, so we try and get it somewhere where we can focus. Um, it puts a little camp sink in the wood for your screw head so you don't have to like squish the wood down to get your screw in plus it means the hole next is big enough for the thread and if you go through and you're drilling on top of something else the drill bit is small enough to be a pilot for a screw and it will still grip the wood so you can actually put this on something go all the way through and it, it screws in and clamps up really nicely it's very useful Meanwhile, Staple sticking out somewhere, but we'll figure it out when we get there. As I said, not fast, just a quickie. A quick change. Screw on. See, that's nice. Being able to do that without the screw falling off, very helpful. Alright, job's good and all done. No one going through that. Thank you. 